Welcome back to the Butler Blue Vlog. This is sort of part two of our lead up to the month of May. Once again, we are at uh, Ed Carpenter Racing. I'm gonna give you a little uh, behind the scenes tour of Ed Carpenter's race shop. Of course, Ed is a 2003 Butler graduate, uh, has sat on the pole for the Indianapolis 500 three times, including last year's race where he finished second. We're hoping he can bring home uh, the Mort Warner Trophy and a glass of milk this year and finish first. And we're gonna get a look at and see uh, some of the preparation that goes behind um, what it takes to get this place ready to move down to 16th and Georgetown for the month of May and put together a uh, race winning operation. Evidently the grass at Ed Carpenter Racing is really good because Trip is just digging it right now. So I don't know if you're getting that Evan, but uh, good grass at Ed Carpenter Racing. Come on by Georgetown Road. Eat some grass, cheer for Ed. Let's go have a look inside. So uh, we are at the Ed Carpenter Racing Shop. Ed is just wrapping up uh, a little PR uh, activity here that he's getting ready for the month of May as well. But I uh, thought we'd run you through the trophy table. We got a pole position award from Milwaukee that one of his drivers has won. We got a second place from uh, Iowa. We got a podium. Champagne glass from Watkins Glen. We got Phoenix, uh, Pocono. We've got uh, California second place. Another one from Iowa. Of course, last year's Indianapolis 500 Pull Award. Texas Motor Speedway winner Ed won that race. Uh, Ed also won in California. That's that trophy there. We got another. We got a first place from Long Beach. One of his drivers won that one. Um, and then another Indianapolis pole position award. Second place at Iowa again. What's this thing? Ah, that one is third place at Barber Motorsports Park. And so, what's this big one over uh, here? And then when you win at Iowa. So Ed won this one. Um, this was actually Joseph Newgarden. Joseph Newgarden. Yeah, dominated that race. So you get a. A pump with, I guess this corn's supposed to be ethanol, <laughs> no, corn-based fuel, but uh, pretty cool. And then some, uh, if you look around, you got some pictures on the wall of Ed and some of his drivers. I like this one. What do you want at Texas? Get the you get the pistols and the, the five-gallon hat, and, uh, and then he's got some fire suits on the wall. Yeah, let's go check those out. Um, it's like. J.R. Hildebrand, and Mike Conway, and Carpenter. Drop down over there. So, various fire suits. He's done now. Pretty cool stuff. And then we look around. We, we got uh, Spencer Piggott and Ed Carpenter cutouts there. We got uh, Pedro the polar bear. Right there. We got a white backdrop for a photo shoot. I see one of Ed's helmets on the floor back there. I'm gonna steal that before we leave. You know you're being recorded, right? Oh, right. I didn't just say that. And then there's Turbo, the, uh, the snail. Yeah, let's go see Turbo. Turbo, the fastest snail in the world. And a door. And a door. Hey, Mike. Question for you. Mm. Yeah. Do you think? Do you think? Do you think he'll let me drive a car? <laughs> no. Okay. You might be able to get a sit in one. That's about it. Can you try? <laughs> no, you ask. Oh, what's over here? It's a little dark, folks. Let's see if I can blow it up for you. A photo, a team photo from when he won at California Speedway. <laughs> Ryder is in the middle of a sneeze. It looks like he's asleep. Uh, love this street sign that was once. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Downtown Indiana. Yeah. For the 2008 they look a lot bigger when they're down low. And then um, some of Ed's. Helmets. This one looks like it's seen some some stuff. <laughs> yes. Like it was necessary that he wore Probably it this day. Worn, uh, over a 500 mile race. Yeah, if you if you can, I don't know if you can see it close, but they take some some dings here. Mm -hmm. They they are exposed. There's a reason they wear these. Do you have a favorite? Um, I like the golf ball I, one. I like the current helmet. So, um, yeah, these are cool. The golf ball themed. This was this is this green. This star up top is modeled after his 
original sort of helmet in the IndyCar series. But this paint scheme is actually modeled off his original, original helmet when he got first got started racing carts. When he was like eight. Uh-huh. This is a gold version. The black version truly looks like uh, his helmet did back in the day when he was a little kid. And that's the one that's he races the one over there. That's the one, yeah, we'll, that, we'll get a video of that. Yeah, that's my favorite paint scheme. That one, uh, you can see if you Google Ed and Sports Illustrated for Kids, that's the helmet you see in that, that picture. So he's gone. And you better believe we're going to put that in the video, right? Well, here, yeah. point, point right there. See that right there? We'll yeah. Put that there. And, right there. You, know, you can see that photo. Um, but I love that helmet because it goes back to you know his good old days, and I think it's a cool, cool helmet. And uh, yeah, I love it. Got to focus there for a while. Oh, isn't that weird? What do you have over here? Some hero cards. Yeah. Well, Ed, Ed Jones. Jones Spencer Pickett autograph cards. So we're in Ed's office now. We found the current paint scheme helmet. So this one looks like the one that you saw in um, Sports Illustrated for Kids cover. This is just like the scheme he used to race when he was a little kid, so he's gone back to that. Um, that, that, that helmet and I think uh, the number 20 above his desk that came out at uh, Section 20 in Hinkle Fieldhouse are my favorite relics in this office. Do you know what this car's name was? And the significance? Yes, that is the Marmon Wasp. That is the first car to win the Indianapolis 500, driven by Ray Har Haroon, with an average speed of 74 miles an hour. Also, Michael, why do you know so much about IndyCar? I just like it. That's not true. Uh, why else? I used to work in IndyCar. I used to work for Ed and Ed's team. And uh, also, you used to work for the Indianapolis Motor Speedway during the month of May. Um, doing PR and marketing, so have a background in the sport, love the sport, um, and can't wait to experience another 500 this year. All right, Ed's done with his uh, PR stuff, and we did a lap around the lobby, so let's go check out the shop. Ed's going to give us a quick tour of his race shop, and uh, yeah, we'll just see what we see. I think Trip knows the way around. Yeah. Okay, we got some pit stands. Here. Yeah, this is a new timing stand that, that we built. We've always, when we've run additional cars, we've rented one from another team, uh, so we've built another you unit. Your own. Yeah, so it, it matches our old ones, but we've got some updated monitors. Like you can see, the old monitors are much smaller. These bigger monitors, as getting them dialed in, but you can split them. This, this screen split four ways. Ways, you know. Three cars for the month of three cars. Yeah, myself, Ed Jones, Spencer Pickett, I'll be in the 500. So, yeah, they're just plugging away. You can see the new. This is the new piece that they're unveiling, which I don't know if that's supposed to go public, but whatever. <laughs> what is it? It's called the a AFP. It's a supposed to deflect debris from the cockpit. Whose tub is this? This is one of Spencer's cars. I think, is this a Speedway car? Yeah, so this is a Speedway car. So he'll be, this will be on track at Indy next Monday, even though it's been still finishing it up here. Wow. Yes, body work. Dave over here builds all our wings. So he's working on building some wings right now. Dude, doing some doing some brake builds, brake wings. Uh, wing assemblies here. Oh, uh, these are just ones that are together. Okay. I would call this storage kind of assembly. Trip wants to drive the forklift. I think. Practice car? Yeah, pit stop practice car, show car, direct supplies, a partner of ours. They've been with us for a long time. They'll have a primary, uh, Road America, and they're always on the 21 car. That's the car you can sit in, Evan. I don't know if I'd fit. Yeah, I, I think I told you it's kind of it's crazy around here. Yeah, everybody's no, getting ready no for cars. The, the month of May. Not one car together right now. What do you mean? This. Yeah. Is this a show car? Yeah, another show car. Which can be a pit stop practice car also. But. Where, where 
rudder wings, get the cars kind of set. Team shot back here, yeah. Stuff going on, building, building parts. Kirko is a, a partner of the team. They provide us five access to the and team mail and, and ways, so we do a lot of good work with those machines. Guys, good at it, good at it. Yeah, you come, you come tomorrow, there'll probably be cars together with engines <laughs> in them, but just not today. Evan will be editing this video tomorrow, so no time. Too late. Too late. That's all right. We'll, we'll, That's Brett's office. We'll be back down uh, in May to actually see the cars on track. So I'm looking forward to that. Brett Schmidt. Yeah. Oh, his office is always looking nice. Speaking of Sports Illustrated for kids, this is Brett right here. Brett's uh, one of my old roommates from the road. He's he's the one. This is Brett. Getting ready to call Ed out. Releasing me. He he's, been, he's been on my right front tire since 2012, and from basically like 2006. To Tan also, we've worked together a long time. This was actually a award the guys made for him around the holidays. It was the 2018 ECR Lifetime <laughs> Achievement Award. It's a great award. There's a there's a essay that goes with it to explain it. That could be a whole other vlog segment. Amy's his wife. <laughs> I hope that makes the cut. It'll, it'll, That'll make it. It'll make the blog. Okay, so that's your lap around the Ed Carpenter Racing show. show. You didn't get to see too much. Some of it's top secret. A lot of it's just because yeah. there's a lot going on. Yeah, it's a pretty crappy video because <laughs> these guys edit. <laughs> Not really. Stuff out. Because people don't get to see this anyway, so yeah. they get to see it now. And then, like I said, the follow up to this vlog is. Come May, we'll come back to the Speedway. We'll actually have you in a car. See a little finished product. Yeah, we'll yeah. get to see you on track. So you get to see behind the scenes like what it takes to get ready for the month of May. Because come May, this whole operation will move down to the Speedway. Yeah, it's a ghost town here in May. And none of this will be, the lights will be off here. And they'll all be down there and for a month and making the, making the race go. And so, uh, so I think it's pretty cool for our viewers to get to see this. So thanks for your time. Thanks for showing us this. I only let you in because it's true. I know. He's our calling card. I hope uh, hope it's one spot better at the end of this month, me too. This next month, me too. Than last year. That'd be awesome. And then we'll we'll drink some, we'll toast some milk together. Sound good? Sounds good. All right. Good luck. Thanks. Whew. Okay. So you got a little bit behind the scenes look at Ed Carpenter Racing. Now you didn't get to see everything. No. Because one... Well, not everything was in there because it, it's they being, just got back from California. They got back from California. It's being worked on. It's being prepped because they they're going to test. They're going to get ready to move to the speedway. They're painting cars. They're building cars. There's a lot going on, and you didn't get to see everything because some of it's top secret. Like you yeah, can't about, see it. About every thirty seconds, I was told, "Hey, hey, don't show that." Yeah, which is kind of cool for us because we got to see it. But you will get to see it in May. Yeah. So just pay attention there. And that's a good point. So in May. Uh, we are going to take the vlog down to the Speedway. Because that's uh, where we're going to be. We'll be down there quite a few times and uh, we'll be checking in with Ed. We'll get to see Ed's uh, trackside garage. We'll get to see Ed's pit. You'll get to see the car on track doing its thing with Ed inside it. So that'll be cool. But we thought it would be neat to show you uh, Ed's race shop. Yep. Get a little behind the scenes look. Even though everything wasn't put together, everything right. wasn't there. That's actually you get a good sense for what it's really like. Right. Um, Consider it, this a trailer for May. We're in April. This is your trailer mm -hmm. for we're, the rest of May. We're wrapping up April and we're headed into May. One other pro tip, if you're an Ed Carpenter fan, um, this video drops on Friday. The next day yes. is Saturday. Yes. Uh, you're going to want to get to the shop in Broad Ripple, I believe. Yep. The shop. Uh, the shop on uh, Broad Ripple Avenue. They are releasing some new special edition uh, Ed Carpenter t-shirts and one of them is dual branded. With what brands? Butler baby. The dog. So uh, Ed's actually going to do an autograph session at the shop. I don't, we can, I guess we can post the time and date and all that stuff on the video because we have that capability because I can't think of it off the top of my head. But we're we going to put it, it, we're going to put it right we here. Put it there. And uh, I know I'm going to take my family, go see Ed, get some autographs, and pick up some new merch. And uh, we think you should go too. It's going to be a cool event. You can tell them you saw this video. 
and I don't uh, know if care, but tell me saw it. You can tell me saw it, and uh, yeah. So I, I, we recommend you come out there, and then otherwise. We kind of hope to see you guys at the track in May because we're going to be out there. Mm -hmm. um, and before that, yeah. may maybe we'll see them on track in May. Evan and I are going to run the mini. If you see us at the mini, please say hi. Are you going to Are you going to vlog the mini? Absolutely not. Mm. Um, my, uh, <laughs> maybe I, I should. I'm going to run slow. He's right? going to run a little slower, but maybe you, I should vlog it. You have reasons you're running slow, um, and slow is still like fast. So don't don't even. But if you see us, yell our names. We need it. <laughs> we're gonna need the encouragement, especially if you're near the track, because that track is brutal. So, yeah. do, so, so we're gonna have the mini. You have the mini next week. You have the grand. As well, Saturday, the, the next Saturday you're watching this autograph signing. Then it's the mini. Then it's the Grand Prix, and then it's like qualifications, practices, and then the race. It's gonna be awesome. What a great time oh, to be alive! What a, yes, it, to be alive in Indianapolis. I can't wait. So, uh, we hope you enjoyed this vlog. We hope you enjoyed getting to see Ed and Ed's race shop uh, here in Indianapolis. Uh, again, just part of our kickoff series to the month of May, and um, I think that's going to do it. I think so, and as always, Go, go dogs! dogs.